Okay, so we're here at the Mera Blue. Uh, and behind me is the Place de Blues. Bruce? I'll put up uh, the things on the screen since my pronunciation of French is horrible. But it's this amazing water feature where it's just this super shallow pool of water that reflects the buildings behind us. It's also fantastic on a hot day to just cool off a bit. So there's folks all around enjoying the water. I saw a dog earlier. There's some kids playing. It's been fun. Rachel <laughs> is having a blast. <laughs> oh man. It's another reason to love Bordeaux. <laughs> so we got the unlimited transit passes here uh, for seven days in Bordeaux. It only cost us fourteen thirty, so about two euro a day. So pretty good deal. Covers all the trams, buses, but it also covers these river boats that I guess you use basically like a bus, but we're excited because it always gives you a different view of the city from down on the water. So we're gonna go catch the boat and check out the city from there. So the boats don't come very often. So we're actually going in the opposite direction than we wanted to go because we wanted to ride the boat. We're kind of hopeful it just turns around, but it may not. We'll see. So we got on the boat in the wrong direction. So now we're going to get back on the same boat. Hopefully headed in the right direction. <laughs> Oops. So it turns out the boat we took just crosses the river. There's another one, but I think it's like 45 minutes away that will actually go down river. But we're just gonna take a tram because we know it leaves in 10 minutes. So we're gonna go check out next the Museum of Wine. But we're not gonna go in because we've talked to multiple people, locals, who say it's worth seeing on the outside, not so much worth it on the inside. So the public transit here in Bordeaux is pretty fantastic, I'd say. There are four tram lines, conveniently named A, B, C, and D. I don't know French, but presumably they're actually the French names of those letters. Uh, but they run pretty frequently. Super easy, hop on, validate, get where you need to go. There's a couple different ways that you can use the public transit in terms of how you pay for it uh, from buses and some other things you can buy paper tickets i think there's also machines for the trams where you can get a paper ticket they're more expensive that way and i just think it's annoying to have to buy a ticket every time you get on so you can instead use their app uh, it's called way ticket i don't know i'll put a link to it uh, but there you can buy packs of tickets or you can buy a pass which is what we did so we bought a seven day pass it was a little over 14 euros, so about two euro a day. Uh, and so pretty cheap, it pays for itself pretty quick. And it gives you unlimited access to the trams, the buses, and the boats. Uh, the boats are not exactly the fastest way to get anywhere from what we can tell, but it's always fun to have a free uh, boat ride. So this edge of town is a lot more modern. That is a lot of mud. <laughs> this building's kind of cool. 
Uh, but I think we're gonna head back into the old part of the city and go to a wine bar. This is only three dollars. This is what digital nomad working looks like sometimes. Zach, on a call. As we join, enjoy a little, a little wine, a little cheese, a little atmosphere. Gotta be flexible. Oh yeah. So we finished with our wine bar. Zach just finished his meeting. <laughs> Still working. <laughs> um, but we're very hungry and we can get drink use in this place. I think they have a set menu. I think it's like steak and fries or something like that and they might just do a few seatings a night. So we're waiting in line. We'll really get it soon. I think I just had the best steak I've had in my life and it was pretty great it was actually very affordable yes it was a what do you call it prefix prefix set menu. set menu one set menu uh they just you show up they give us a salad a steak and french fries and a baguette and a baguette yep for 21 euros a piece and it was more than either of us could finish so I may have committed a cultural faux pas but yeah. i asked for them to to bag it up for me it's gonna uh, be a good snack tomorrow i we weren't sure which was better to like not finish eating it which everyone around us had finished yeah we were weak we don't eat a ton of meat is the honest answer or is it better to take it home so that's what we did I'm apparently, sorry french people let us know if we're horrible people yeah let us know but apparently it's a law to cut down on food waste that they have to do it so she looked at me a little funny but wrapped it up in some foil so this will be my snack tomorrow so we're up this morning and we're staying in the newer part of Bordeaux over by the port and originally we came over here a couple days ago we weren't so sold on this part of the city it just seemed kind of modern not that exciting but the area they built up what I with what I assume were some old warehouses that they've redeveloped into a movie theater and a bunch of cafes and restaurants and a spaceship in the in the bay uh, is actually really nice and we've really enjoyed it so we're glad we ended up over here and the hotel was significantly cheaper than if we were trying to stay in the old town so just a little bit of a tip uh, this is a cool area to check out whether you're looking for a cheap place to stay or just a nice place to eat and check out more of a modern part of Bordeaux. All right, so it is our last full day in Bordeaux. We've been here for about a week and we're planning to just spend it eating pastries. <laughs> All right, so we just finished going to this bakery, Altelier Laundry. Sorry about my horrible French pronunciation. Um, and we got this brulee that was really good. And so we decided to go back <laughs> and get more. So then we also got, uh, there was another person in there and was like, this is a very traditional French thing. You should get this. So we got some kind of quiche, I think. These guys are really hoping we drop some food.
Okay, I love coffee gear, and I've been kind of sad. We just had our AeroPress here on the road. But check out these grinders. This one I've seen before. This area went for 30. But 79, 275. I bet that makes an amazing grind. So one of the great things about France is when you're hungry, just grab a baguette for only one euro. So we got a baguette for one euro, a bottle of water for 30 cents, pretty good snack. It does look very comfortable. 